For today's video in the Pharmaceutics video series, we will be showing you how to prepare a heparin dilution. The calculations for this lab vary, but in this demonstration we are going to be doing two dilutions. Make sure you are properly gowned and have cleaned the hood before you begin the preparation. Here is a picture of all of the materials you are going to need laid out in chronological order. You are going to need the heparin solution. It is very important that you get the correct concentration. Alcohol swabs, a three milliliter syringe, a one milliliter syringe, two 20 milliliter syringes, a vial of 0.9% sodium chloride, three sterile needles, a lure lock red connector, and black syringe tips. Normally, you would change out the lure lock connectors after each dilution, but for this lab, you can just reuse the same one. Go ahead and take an alcohol wipe and swab the top of the heparin vial. Make sure you are working six inches in the hood at all times. Remove the three milliliter syringe and affix a sterile needle to the tip of the syringe. Try and be mindful about blocking first air. Withdraw a volume of air equal to the amount of drug that you are going to draw up into the syringe. When you go into the vial to withdraw the drug, use the anti-coring technique. Go in at a 45 degree angle with the bevel up. Inject the air into the vial and withdraw the amount of drug you need. You can tap the syringe to get rid of any air bubbles. Recap and remove the needle from the syringe. When you are working in the hood, make sure you put all of your garbage and capped needles to the sides. Use another alcohol wipe to swab the sodium chloride vial. Affix a sterile needle to the 20 milliliter syringe. Withdraw an amount of air equal to the amount of sodium chloride that you are going to withdraw from the vial. Again, use the anti-coring technique when going into the vial. Push the air in and remove the sodium chloride that you need. Try and position your hands so that you are not blocking first air. Recap and remove the needle from the syringe. Open the red lure lock connector. Affix the three milliliter syringe to one end of the lure lock. Affix the 20 milliliter syringe to the other end. You are now going to mix the drug with the sodium chloride. Be very careful when you are doing this because the pressure from the larger syringe can cause the plunger from the smaller syringe to pop right out. So you wanna go slowly and be mindful of the amount of pressure that you are using.
After the drug is thoroughly mixed with the sodium chloride, remove the 3 milliliter syringe and get ready to perform the second dilution. Remove the 1 milliliter syringe from the package and affix the lure lock to the syringe. Go ahead and affix the 20 milliliter syringe with your diluted solution to the other end. Withdraw the amount of solution that is needed to perform the second dilution. In this case, it is 0.5 milliliters. You may want to remove a little extra so you can get rid of any air bubbles. Remove the 20 milliliter syringe. Go ahead and try and tap out the air bubbles. Affix the second 20 milliliter syringe to a sterile needle. Use an alcohol wipe to swab the top of the sodium chloride vial. Withdraw an amount of air equal to the amount of sodium chloride that you are going to withdraw from the vial. Use the anti-coring technique to push the needle into the sodium chloride vial. Push the air in and withdraw the amount of sodium chloride needed for the second dilution. Recap and remove your needle. Affix the 20 milliliter syringe to the lure lock. You are now going to mix the drug with the sodium chloride. Again, be careful with how much pressure you use when pushing the plunger on the 20 milliliter syringe. When the drug has been thoroughly mixed with the sodium chloride, go ahead and remove the 20 milliliter syringe from the lure lock. Cap the syringe with the black syringe cap. This is your final dilution.